Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. United Community Bank, an independent, family-owned and operated bank committed to empowering customers to achieve their financial goals. Member FDIC. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today with Andy Paulson from Frazee High School in charge of the building trades. Hi, Andy. How you doing, Hank? I'm doing tremendous. God, it's gorgeous out here. Almost too nice for November. Yes, I think it's September and we missed, uh, the calendar is messed up. Yeah, the deer hunters I don't think are real happy about this right now. No, no snow. Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, we're ready for it. And so we're looking behind us here and you've got quite a project going on. Yeah, the construction trades class is really doing a great job this year. Uh, it's a little different operation this year, and I had said it earlier earlier on about a month ago, but we're actually building on site here in Frazee. We're on West Main. Um, we aren't we aren't at the school this year. T typically, whenever we've built a house, we actually go on at the school and the house gets moved. This year, we were able to work with Bob, Bob Bob Clary this year, and he's been able to uh, let us build on site, which is really nice. So the the class got moved to right away in the morning instead of the afternoon. Um, so the kids report to class right here, and we actually work on building the house right here on site. Well, and I think this is a tremendous deal, and it, and it's good for them too to get off the school premises because when they get out in the world, this is what they're going to be doing. They're going to be dealing with a, a, a site situation. Yeah, right on. This gives you gives the kids a lot more realistic opportunity of what the construction trades are going to be like. Um, it puts them in a situation where they they know how the construction op occupation is going to be. Um, granted, they could work in a situation like a dynamic home dynamic homes are where they're going to move the homes, but this is more typical residential construction. And uh, how much do you usually save on something like this when you don't have the moving fees in? You know, the last couple of houses, we only moved locally in town here, and it was still about an $8,000 bill just to move a house about five or six blocks. So to build it on site really is going to save the homeowner quite a bit. Yeah, pro probably about uh, 5 to 7%. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they don't have to add on that extra cost of the, of the moving, and then they can get the house built a little more to the spe specifications that they want. If we build a house on site, they can only build a 50-foot-long house. Here, we can build a little bit different style of home. Well, that's great. And how many kids do you have in the class this year? This year was a little different situation. Uh, usually we try to have it be mostly seniors in the class, but this year it worked out to where the, the seniors had a required class, so they couldn't take it. So I actually have all juniors in the class this year. There are 13 juniors in the class that are here for two hours a day, and I, I snuck in a couple of seniors for only one of the two hours because they really felt it, was, it would work with their schedule. Well, that's a good deal, too, you know, so these kids are going to get an extra year experience on doing this. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm hoping that a few of these kids take the class again next year, and I can put those almost as a, a foreman of the group where I can separate them, and they become the leaders and show some of these younger kids how to do it. Any changes that you're possibly looking at for the next year? No, you know, we're hoping what will happen is this will kind of spark some interest for other people so that if they're interested in having a home built on site, we can do that and save the homeowner some money. It'll, it'll be good for the community. It'll be good for the school. We, we're all about building the city of Frazee. Well, I appreciate you being on the program, Andy, you know, and I'm very happy with what goes on here, you know, and when, when I look at all the building that's starting to happen in Frazee, it's nice to know that we have young people coming up who are going to be working for it, where our local builders eventually, and making money and having families and keep on putting kids in the school here. It's, it's such a great experience for these kids. They're, they're learning a lot of life skills. Some of them might not be contractors or builders, but they're learning the soft skills about how to show up to work on time. There's no bell that to tells them when to be here. They have to show up on time, be prepared for work, and be ready to go, which are those skills that these kids need for all the workforce. Well, thanks for being on the program, and we'll be right back with Andrew and the robotics. Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. The City of Frazee and Frazee Events Center, featuring a 5,000 square foot room, a built-in stage and a full service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. Frazee Community Club, people and business coming together to make the community fun, friendly and thriving. Become a member and help support your community. Frazee Vergas Forum, locally owned and operated, Bringing you news for the Lakes area in print or online. Subscribe today, FrazeeForum.com. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm still here with Andy Paulson up here at the robotics at Frazee High School. And Andy, you know, I, I see this strange machine behind us here. It looks like a, a could be a basketball player, but it's the wrong color. It's blue. <laughs> so I'm going to let you just take it and run with it here. Sure. 
Thanks, Hank. You know, for our school, we have a robotics program, and in the robotics program, we, we build a bunch of different robots, obviously. Last year, we used to do two programs that were called Best Robotics and First Robotics. This this robot here is actually from our first robotics competition. The game last year, we were given an objective in the beginning of January. And from there, we had six weeks to design the robot, build it, um, program it, test it, redesign it. And, and this was our final product. The objective of the game, it's a worldwide game. The objective of the game was to take this ball and launch it however you can into an opening or a goal. There are a few different openings that you could use. Um, and, and that's the basic gist of it. Now. When you get your basic kit of parts, they basically give you enough to drive around and, and, and interact with each other. When, we, when you compete, you compete three on three. So our school might pair with Detroit Lakes or Purim for one match, and then the next match, you might be going against Detroit Lakes or Purim. And at the end of the, of the preliminary rounds, the top teams become a captain, and then from there, the captains will choose two other teams to be a part of your alliance, and then you will compete. Our objective this year was to actually be an offensive robot. We wanted to score as many goals as we can. It's not demolition derby robots, but it is interaction. It's not like what you see on TV where they're trying to destroy each other. But it is interaction, so we end up having to have bumpers on the side so that we, when we interact with people, we're not wrecking anything. Our robot was able to intake a ball through the bottom and the ball would feed up and when we wanted to shoot, these wheels would spin and the ball would come out and go flying around. Um, it, we were really accurate with what we did. Um, we had another aiming mechanism. You can see there's a little flashlight right here. What that flashlight did is when we turned our shooter on, it's showing a beam out onto the goal so we knew that we were shooting in the right area. So it was a cool idea. The kids um, did a really great job of building the machine. You notice that the machine is blue. We work with a lot of different sponsors. Uh, the machine is made out of aluminum. It can weigh up to 120 pounds. The aluminum is, is normally silver, like aluminum is. We have a sponsor out of Alexandria called Alexandria Finishing, and we bring all our parts in there and they anodize it for us, which is a really cool concept to make it look really nice. We're trying to work with corporate sponsors so that we can interact between our school and industry. We actually have a tour scheduled to go to BTD Manufacturing tomorrow so that we can go and check out their industry. They've donated money to us and help our program out because they understand that these, these students are going to be their future employees. If we can work together with a partnership with team people like BTD and you can see there's other sponsors down here as well that really help us out. Nearson Automotive has been great. Uh, team Industries, a bunch of industries around Daggett Truck Line locally here in Frazee helps us out a bunch. Without those sponsorship sponsorships we couldn't do what we do. Now you notice there's a couple of modifications on here too. We like to do some fun things here so we do we we try to participate in a bunch of the parades in town as well. In the parades one of the students uh, discovered a semi horn off of a semi, so we put it on here and it's kind of fun to drive around and, and scare the kids a little bit with a loud horn and make, a, make a, a, a bunch of ruckus with the machine too. So it's sure a lot of fun. We're working on building up to our next build season, which actually starts uh, January 7th this year, so we're doing a lot of prep work for that as well. Well, Andy, I appreciate you being on the program and we'll be back this winter to see how it goes. Thank you very much. So remember, pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife, and wave at the neighbors. And we'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Frazee.